still be at my parents' house in Boston. But don't call a house line, you know. Well, the point is, I've got my cell phone, so if anything comes up or if you have any questions, just call Believe me. Believe it or not, I can't handle it. I'm a fan of Miranda's. She's a wonderful, wonderful actress, and, and I've, I've seen her in a number of films. Uh, my kids are fans of hers from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, certainly. And so, you know, I just saw, thought she was a good fit with the Tom Cruise character. And I thought she was a good fit because I thought that Tom had been married up, that he was this blue-collar worker, you know, he's, he's a big kid at heart. And he probably, you know, he's a sexy guy, and he probably married up. He probably married a Connecticut aristocrat, and they fell in love and had a couple of kids. And yet there was such a great chasm between their upbringings that they never really could see eye to eye on many things. Or maybe she wanted him to be more involved in the family, and he was too much of a kid himself to do that. And the marriage failed. But there's a sort of sweet gap between Ray and Marianne. And I kind of thought Miranda did a great job playing a well-educated woman of good upbringing. And she was not slumming to be with Ray because he's this sexy dock worker. It's, she's, he's Tom Cruise, after all. But she's found something in Ray she loved, but she also was holding on to this Take other lifestyle. Kids. And I thought that contrast was great. I was in L.A., and I was in a, a car rental place and my agent rang me and I didn't even know that I'd been put, put up for it. I was in LA for a week for something else that I had to finish off. And uh, my manager rang and she said, I need to talk to you. And I said, oh, can I call you back? Cause I'm just hiring a car. And, and she said, no, no, I have to talk to you now. And she said that um, Steven Spielberg wanted to talk to me about <laughs> coming to do this. And it was completely out of the blue for me. And um, I got to speak to him the next day and he asked me if I'd be interested in doing it. But the, the funny thing was is that uh, I'm actually pregnant myself and, and so I had to say to him on the phone, um, I don't know if, you know if I can do this because I'm pregnant, I don't know if that's going to be a problem for you. And he said, oh, no, actually I like that, that's a good idea, let's, let's do that. And um, I'm not actually this pregnant. I'm, I'm, they've made me a little bit more pregnant than what I am.